And I'm just going to try to like curb my behavior with my working out. And tequila. 100%. Welcome to the new set of Two Bears, One Cave. How do you like what I did? I like it, Tom. It's really great. I leaned man. more you on this one. I, I mean, I think it's kind of an homage that you did a straight up replica of, you know, can I tell you, I've ne I don't feel like I've ever been funny in this room. No? No. Why? I don't know. I got fucking, I told Leanne, I think it's the chairs. I would actually like you to assess it, okay? Because because this is my podcast studio. Tom's in LA. He's uh, got work this week. He does some work, yeah. And then, and then I'm leaving tonight for Austin, which fucking sucks. Well, then we're going to see each other again in a few days. We're going to see each other on Monday. Oh, so you what come time back. are you going to get there? Uh, we're driving through the night. So you'll be there in the morning? Yeah, I'll be there in the morning. Okay. Um, I'm working out with Rogan tomorrow. In Austin? Yeah. Were you at his place? On it. Oh. Yeah. They're going to put me. Let's go ahead and start. Then. Th they're going to put you through what? No. You want to say something? Oh, yeah. Looking. Have you been on a cleanse or something? <laughs> you mean... The Prolon cleanse, which is not a sponsor, not a sponsor. And by the way, I didn't, I didn't never tag them in anything because yeah. I wanted to be able to shit on them if I didn't like them. Yeah, I did, Tom. So this is a a fasting mimic diet. Will you fi find out what a fasting mimicking diet is, Halston, and start punching up the laughter a little bit? Fucking where's Miss Patty? Yeah. Um. So a fat is so it's, I think it it makes you feel like you're fasting but you're not fasting but you're not you're doing soups you're doing it's it's like it's uh green friendly so it's no no protein to fast can you read that I yeah, yeah it says the fasting mimicking diet is a specific meal plan formulated to stimulate the fasting state while providing nutrients and calories it does this by finding a sweet spot in the body where the benefits of fasting still occur and pathways that block the benefits of fasting are not activated so i lost 12.5 pounds in four days wow yeah so what were you up to well what's crazy 263.7 dude can i tell you i saw 270 like i saw it like i was like no no i could get 270 tomorrow i weighed 260 on thanksgiving 263.7 on friday on on saturday morning saturday morning i was 263.7 you're like fuck this. and i was like I was sitting out. So you're back to 250 now. I'm at 252 right now, and so and so, right. but but I mean I'm I'm lost because I don't understand the difference between a diet and an eating disorder. So, but also the real thing for Birdie Boy is that you go back on tour. Oh yeah, I haven't been drinking, right? But I tour, haven't been eating carbs. I've been eating. You get a bar and you get two soups. What kind of bar do you get? Is it's, it's actually not that bad. It's like a little breakfast. Do they bar. send you the soups? Oh yeah, they send. So you, it's a five day fast. So they send you everything in this. Hey, Holston, will you grab the Prolong bo box right there? I can show it to you. Prolong, I apologize for what I'm about to do to your company. Because I know, because you're going to be like, this isn't the advertisement we're looking for. No one loses 12.5 pounds, Bert. No one loses an inch in their neck, Tom. I lost an inch in my neck. That's what they send you? They send How you did this you find box. this? You just Google it? My sister it? and my dad did it. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow does it. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jennifer Anderson probably does it if Gwyneth Paltrow does it. So they give you these, these boxes. I'll show it to you for, so you guys can see. And it's all the days. And in a day, an average day is typically, I bought two. And by the way, I'm buying five more for my tour bus. And I'm going to make everyone do it. And anyone that does it perfectly, I give $1,000 to. Right? That way yeah. they'll make it, I'll, it'll make me do it again. You get these bars, which are pretty fucking good. And that's what you get for the day. That's what, no, you get that. Two bars. This is the first day. Okay. You get these kale crackers. Mm -hmm. You get some, you get some, uh, some pills, some algae pills, some N12 pills. This is your dessert for dinner. Is this little treat right here, and then, and then these soups. Now, what's important about these soups? Let me see. It's this is black bean and this is squash. Holy and so, shit, dude! This is 120 calories. This is 110. You eat roughly 700 calories a day, and okay. and. But here's my question about something like this. It is kind of like a reset, but it's not a permanent thing. It's a why? I, 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 part of that's why I don't understand it. I go, why don't you just make it a permanent thing? Why don't you just do this every day for the rest of your life? And then you just go, I don't get food anymore. And so, uh, But also, if you're exercising on this. I'm exercising. So my fucking workouts, I've, you know, I have a trainer, so my workouts have been fucking insane. And then they give you this, and you fill it up with this L drink. I didn't read the instructions, and I think that's what really fucked me up on this diet. That sounds like you. I didn't read any of the instructions, and I fucking made the soups, steeping them instead of boiling them. And they're like, 
And then last night I read, my fourth night, I read, I was like, these soups are fucking horrible. I, the beans never get soft. The quinoa <laughs> never expands. They're yeah. fucking terrible soups. But I was like, they taste, and the you flavors You must have some hunger pains, right? No. What? No. So um, I'll tell you where, I'll tell you where I got crazy. But what, so what happened is, so I did it. The first day I lose like five pounds. Jesus. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, this is fucking working. Right. And I was, I mean, I, I had to take half a Xanax. I'm sure you're not supposed to do that, but I had to take half a Xanax, go to bed. Cause my brain's just going, go to the refrigerator, go to the refrigerator. They're yeah. stuffing in the refrigerator. They're still Thanksgiving leftovers are still there. That, still, was, that was your day one. That was my day. Oh, oh, day, oh I got Saturday. Yeah. 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 And so, but what was happening is Friday I had a fucking white shirt on and it was, I couldn't get it to stop doing this. It never my belly was sticking out. It was like a button down the, shirt. It or? was a white shirt and the, a white t-shirt. Oh. And it, I couldn't get it to go down. And I, and I I'd pull it down. It would stop. And then it would just slide back up. And I was like, I can't be that guy. I can't be that guy. I'm too, I must have been 265 that night. Cause yeah. I woke up at 263. Or you see that guy like in the airport where um, he's walking towards you and his belly's below his t-shirt. Like no, that's, me. Like that's me. That's me. That's yeah. me. That was me. That is still me. But so then I do this last night. I read, you must boil the soup in a in a stove top for twelve minutes, and I'm like, "Huh?" So I call my mom and my dad, my and my sisters. They've all done it, and they're like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You should have been boiling those. You can't steep them." So I've been drinking. I've been these non cooked soups for four fucking days, not doing this diet correctly at all. Yeah, I fucking stopped drinking the tea. And you're not I was hungry. Like, I'm not hungry. Really? That's kind of crazy, man. So here's what I have though, and this is what's made me crazy is um it's i told i fucking came out to liam about me you know being fat yeah and and i and that really opened a lot of fucking like eyes for me because then i said to her i was like i was like yo i'm uh i go i'm helpless like i'm just wanting you to know i'm did people always talk to me about being an alcoholic right and i've ne I've, I've always said i'm not an alcoholic yeah but i'm not helpless to booze i don't need booze at all i just as i say that i grab it liquid death well, that's water but i don't need booze at all i don't need it I, I i i once i can get through the first couple days of going yeah, that's right you can go back to bed you can go to bed by without anything i am i've heard the term i had to admit i was helpless again to alcohol i am helpless with food meaning uh Chef Antonia, she was down in, with you. She was it, it laugh out loud with you in Cancun. Okay. She's, she owns Scopa here. She has a bunch of amazing restaurants. She came over and catered a dinner for Leanne. Leanne loves that show, Yellowstone. So they had a big night of watching it. She catered it with Scopa. Tom, I, I was going like this. I was going like, I had, all I have was soup, and I was cool with it. But I find myself grabbing food. And I wasn't, like, I would just grab it. And I go, can't eat. But I would, my hand would grab food. And I... It was like an impulse thing. And then my mouth was watering like crazy. And I go, I go, I just got to go to bed. I got to go to bed. It was almost like I couldn't be around it. So then, but now I'm not hungry, but I want food. Do like, you feel like the same way with booze though? Mm -mm. Do you, wait, do you feel, wait, I don't understand. Do you feel like you are an alcoholic? No, not you, at all. I know no. I'm not now. After watching myself deal with food, that's helpless. You feel like you're helpless with food. I feel like with, with food, I go, you but know those, thing, you know those guys helpless. who go, you know those guys who go, Kind of and not kind of. Like, I can do this because I know it's over in five days. Well, you, when are you going to go ham tomorrow? Today. I'm supposed to do the day five. I just had the fucking bar, and I looked at the soup, and I'm like, I'm not going to boil that for 12 minutes. And I get on a plane tonight, and I know I'm going to drink tonight because I'm getting on a fucking plane. I'm going to Texas. You know there's going to be barbecue. So I just, I'm just, I'm like, I'm like. I'm what just, time is your flight? Fucking four, five, no, seven. <laughs> I'm gonna, four, five, seven. I, was, I then, can't wait to have a drink. I can't wait to have a, no, I'm going to, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. And I what, can't wait. Are you going to have barbecue? Uh, so, t so but you, is your gig tonight? I'm tr no, tomorrow. In Austin. Uh, gig? Two gigs. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, uh, so what, you know what's crazy is you said, because here's what I thought happened to you, right? You broke your body and then you Which, got. Which, by the way, today? No. One year anniversary today. Are you serious? One year ago today, exactly. Yeah. Ooh. isn't that spooky kind of it's very fucking spooky this is the this is the day we went down to el segundo i still remember i still remember standing on the sidewalk you know you have like you have like 
instead of watching you because we it was like an unusual street that it was on. Yeah, I was just waiting for you, and I was talking to everybody outside. I was talking to Roy and yeah, and, and they were like, "Where's your friend?" And I was like, "He's coming." And then I saw you pull down. I go here he is. And I was like, "No, nah, I told you where to park." I remember all that. I remember all that. Yeah, that was one year ago, man. I wonder if that comes up on my phone. Oh, memories. Yeah, of memories. Where's how do you get to memories? Is it? Oh, it's when you go. It's when you go to this. When you go where? Memories. How do you do it? Oh yeah, memories. On this day yeah. to, on this day today. Yeah, I didn't have it. I don't have it. Mine mine so shows just December thirteenth. Wow, that's interesting. All the things I do. I have lucky days. I have very lucky days in my life. Like there's a big chunk in May that's very lucky for me. Very lucky. Um so so when you broke your body a year ago today, I, I always tried to figure out how you started losing weight. Cause I was like, you were like, I just started eating clean. And I was like, yeah, but you need, no, you need a jump. Right. The jump was, was being in the hospital. And then you come out and you're like, I'm losing weight. I'm losing you, like not weight the way you're supposed to. Because yeah. you're just like not eating. Yeah. That, that was the thing. And then, and then they're like, you're not going to be able to like work out for a while. So in my head, I was like, well, I'm not going to be moving. I, I can't eat like an asshole. I just can't. Yeah. Cause I know I would fucking balloon. So I just started to fucking watch what I ate more. And and what's, what's crazy to me is once you got that dent, once you put a dent in the weight loss, yeah. then I, wa- then you got inspired to do it. That's and true. I'd watch you go like bring a meal somewhere yeah. and go, that's what I'm eating. Everyone's eating burritos. I'm eating this. Or you, I watch you do that. And I'd be like, Oh, and you'd be like, no, I just, I'll have egg whites. And now I'm at a place where I go, I feel like I put a dent in it and I can try, I, at least with working out right now, now I can bench press again. I can do squats. I can do everything again. To my arms back like a hundred percent. And so I go, I mean, I can work out. I can lift weights. I can, um, I can, and I put a dent in it. So I, I'm inspired to not eat like a total asshole. That's good, man. So, th- so then, so then I'll, I'll I think I'm, your idea, maybe it might not be the prolon thing, but the idea of getting the bus on board with something like the crew. Okay. Is very beneficial because so, like my crew that I travel with is pretty, I bring, you know, Sean, who's an actual like trainer and workout guy. Yeah. And then it's contagious. Like whoever's open, like Tate started a, he did a lot of the shows. We'd start to go to the hotels and he'd be in the gym. Cause we were always going to the gym. Yeah. And then, like the tour manager is like, "Hey, guess what? I just I just bought a Peloton, and I'm gonna start eating with you guys." Like, it's, it gets contagious. So, okay, so here's what I was thinking about doing for Texas. Okay, I haven't told okay. you guys this yet. Fifty dollars for every pound they lose, ah, and fifty dollars to each of them for every pound I lose. That's good, right? Yeah. And then, because you look at it, you go. I, it's, it's money i'd like to give to people you know especially if i feel like i'm being healthy and everyone's being healthy i don't mind i don't mind bo- like basically bonusing everyone to go hey can we try to just be healthy you know it's not a bad it? idea yeah uh what's your uh would you have a goal weight you have like a number no you i get don't to? well no i actually gotta be dead honest with you I, it's really sad my goal weight's my fat weight <laughs> to 240 i'd be cool with 240 yeah i mean because you know we got we got things we're doing and so i don't want to like fucking go there and then and i and i i don't want to look like i don't know i just like i really liked when i was shooting the machine i was in physically i was in great shape i i was i don't look great you know i look fat i'm still fat but like i was running hard as shit i was lifting like crazy i was strong as fuck i was like the strongest i've ever been the was ha- shooting that yeah oh dude i was just i benched 235 was like i maxed out at 235 i granted that's not a lot for everyone but for for a 48 year old man yeah. who's never really been into benching the other day i did 175 five times yeah. and i was like i was like and the whole time i'm waiting for my arm to snap to go pop up yeah that fucking feeling that's the thing once you get the fear in you yeah the fear is not good georgia i watched that's why i don't want to have a heart attack because once you have a heart attack then you're never going to be able to work out again once you get a stint in everything's fucking 80 percent. are you are you fearing that yeah because right now i i go today this morning i woke up at six the girls dude i am killing it as a dad lately are you killing it killing it as a dad i had a really good week home with my girls and and so much so that isla hit me on the arm she goes you're doing a good job i was like nice what are you doing to kill it uh hanging out with them 
pretty much just just hanging out and fucking having a good time. So, so uh, George is extre- George. George and I are both oddly enough extremely athletic. I didn't never saw it from Isla, but but and I kind of saw it from Georgia. But she always kind of phoned it in. But Georgia, that we do this competition thing where we run a uh, run a eighth of a mile mm-hmm. on the treadmill, mm-hmm. and then the other person has to row uh, two hundred fifty meters, mm-hmm. and we see who gets there first. And uh, and the day before i went on my cleanse i'm 260 whatever jesus and i'm trying to beat georgia and she's fucking killing it on the rower and i piss my pants what do you mean i pissed in my pants Uh, i'm running as hard as i can and i'm looking at her on the fucking number and i'm like fuck i'm nowhere there and i crank it up and then all of a sudden uh, for whatever reason i just started i just as i as i got i just pissed my pants by the way that's happened to me before is that i've run so hard i piss i just piss seriously yeah i ran I've so hard I heard this. dude i i ran so hard i pissed my pants and then i hopped off the and ran in and i came back and like what's wrong i go and i just didn't i thought it happened to everyone so i was like i pissed my pants and they're like huh i was like doesn't that happen to everyone they're like no no one's ever done that dude i have a time there's a there's a video of me trying to run and and beat the rest of the guys <laughs> in a sprint and i'm not even joking we got done the sprint. We were at a, we were at a, at a drive-in movie theater. I got done the sprint. We were drunk. It was late, and I got done the run. And I just pulled my pants over and started pissing, like a racehorse. Like I think it's like racehorse things, right? Does your dick shrink when you when you run? You asking Halston or me? You very much so. Yeah, mine too. Very much. Like today, Is a body like it's like a preservation thing that happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's yeah. If you're in the woods and there's animals chasing you, you weren't supposed to have clothes, so your dick gets tiny, so it can keep it around because it really goes in. mine gets mine was today i was like i was weighing in so i was gonna take a picture and post it on my instagram and i i saw that it was like i was like i'll take a picture and hopefully it'll see my dick and then i took a picture and i was like no you can't see my dick and i went to post it and my i took it thinking of the reflection i took an actual picture of my dick my dick was in it but so this big this big and sticking straight out like a like a like a detention yeah mine gets like it gets so small that it scares me when I'm run, when I, whenever I'm like working out, I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, I, I, it looks remember, like a toddler's. Do dick. you remember when I, I was so fat at one point, I think I told you about this. I, my dick started going back into my body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that happens when exercise. Do you though. think there's any other podcast where anyone's this honest? Do you think that there's any podcast where anyone's going like that? Anyone's going where my dick went back into my body and someone's going, what the fuck are these two talking about? <laughs> Oh man! Even right now, it's not. It's pretty small. Right mine's now. mine's. I'll tell you, mine's exactly that big right now. Here, let's see. <laughs> Samesies. Um. Do you think that Nadav's jealous that he's not here right now? <sighs> he probably enjoys a break. Yeah. We, we How's his weight loss doing? It's Should not. we call my accountability buddy? Uh, yeah, well, I told him you were, you were 263. He's like, oh, he's getting as fat as me now. That's what he yeah, said. I, I, that was my fear. It's, that's part of my, it, like, so I was like, if I am fatter. He, oh, my God. Is he going to lose any? Did he, like. He's like me. I think, I think he's, I think he's got the same. I don't, I mean, I'm sure he'd be insulted if I said he had the same brain I have. But, like, I think he has an impulse thing. Also food. food. Yeah. It's so. It's By so, the way, I've been doing pretty well, like, with eating and yeah. exercise. But it, I I still hit like walls like plateaus you know. Like I what are you to, doing for? You're doing a lot of elliptical right now, right? No, I've been doing a lot of just like resistance training and not a lot of cardio. And I actually feel like I have to basically do. I have to up the cardio, but keep doing my resistance stuff. Otherwise, so, I'm just going to stay here. So here's my here's my thing, right? In order for me to lose weight, I have to work out twice in a day yeah i have to work out in the morning with weights and then i have to Cardi- run yeah 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 that's like and that's what i've been doing i love lifting weights it feels good i kind of want to i wonder if kumail has the same meatheadedness that i get when i lift weights like what do you mean i just start once, once i lift weights I'm, i get like very like i feel like my testosterone pumps up probably I does. start getting like fuck that oh, i'll fucking talk back to me motherfucker yeah I'll smack you across the fucking mouth yeah it's great cock sucking motherfucker hey all right and then but kumail's more like fucking He's super jacked. I just saw a, a trailer yesterday for a movie with uh, Michael B. Jordan, you know? Yeah. That actor. Fuck. 
That guy's so jacked. Really? I mean, he's been that way for he's a, a while. He was in X, X Panther, right? Black Panther or Black Panther? Yeah, it's a it's a new it's a new movie though. Dude, he is fucking huge. Yeah, I mean, and actually, he in the movie he actually looks uh, bulkier, but like completely muscular, man. This dude must he must like. I would assume he spent okay, okay, nothing but ready. Time you get to this. pick to be an actor. Yeah, right. You can be. I'm not saying. I hope this doesn't come off wrong. I don't mean this negative towards Michael B. Jordan. You get to pick to be an actor. Okay. okay. Now, clearly, Michael. Part of Michael B. Jordan's job is he's got to spend probably four hours in the gym. He can't eat when he does a movie. He yeah. can't eat what he wants. He's got no. like it's it's a it's a whole regiment. And then acting is probably also something he focuses on. But in all honesty, you're getting hired for you're getting hired for your body. I mean, for a part of it, yeah. your your acting got you in there, but the body. And I wonder if he puts the body in there. I wonder if he like if he's like no no no, and I'll be jacked for this fucking movie. Oh, probably. But like, I remember that story that uh, Tom Papa told me that um, he said because he's friends with Matt Damon, right? Like they're friendly. Oh, they did work together. together. They've done. Yeah, I think yeah, they did yeah. a couple movies, and. And he and and Damon and Affleck produced a show that Tom was doing, and he said that Matt Damon said that he can tell you exactly like you bring up a movie like Talented Mr. Ripley or One Identity, he'll be like one sixty five, one seventy two, one fifty two. Like he knows exactly what he weighed, and because that he, that's part of the role for him. Well, he just knows that like when a movie like if he's shooting a movie in three months, he's like fuck, I gotta like stop eating. Yeah, I have to. I ha like he knows that really. Oh yeah, like so. The, so then, so then, do you, okay. So then, that's the question. Would, do you? Would you rather? Would you like? To, you get one career. You can't pick. You can't. You get one lane. You can't pick two. Yeah. Okay. You get to be a um, a Michael B. Jordan, um, a Thor. That guy. Yeah. Hem Hemsley Hemsworth. Mm -hmm. That guy. Uh, Chris Pratt. Uh -huh. Like I think they're all now muscle actors. Right. Right. But Pratt not as hardcore as the other guy. As like, he's not. Well, he's like in good shape. He's definitely leading man, but he's not like, like he's not like most of this movie. I will be shirtless, like 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 those guys. I right? think he is. Is I, he? Yeah, I think he is. I talked. To, I knew his ex wife, and she would talking. Yeah, pull up Chris Pratt. What movies he's in? She was like, she said something. He used to be a like a like a little more lax of a dude, and now everything he's in, he's that guy. And he's well, maybe you're and right. You can't. You and. She was saying that it's like not fun to be around. By the way, right? Because he's the guy on the left too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. got they got divorced, but yeah, it wasn't fun to be around because he couldn't eat and he was always hungry. Right. And so, and by the way, that's also they got did get divorced. So I'm not, but you get to pick a lane. Ready? That. Yeah. Or, uh, or you can be like Philip Seymour Hoffman. Now, I, I'm no slight to those name actors I just named. No slight at all. Not whatsoever. They're all fucking amazing what they do. Yeah. Or you can be. Like Philip Seymour Hoffman, John C. Riley, those actors who are a little softer, and people, re uh, Benicio del Toro, people recognize their acting as the thing that got them there, not their body. Now, now I hope that's coming out fair, right? Because I don't. I'm being serious. Hollywood does not exist without the Chris Pratt's, Michael B. Jordan. Oh, of course, it, like you, I, the, you pay the big bucks to see the fucking action hero with the big muscles. Yeah. So you you pick that guy. Yep. And I'm not saying they can't act, but. Or you could be Benicio del Toro, where everyone goes, one of the best actors of our generation. Oh, yeah. Uh, fucking uh, uh, Adam Driver, one of the best actors of our generation. You just saw that movie. You just said you loved it. The, uh, <laughs> the, like, it's so bad. This, shut up. It's but you get to pick, you get to pick any, you get to pick one or the other. What do you pick? I would definitely take the acting thing. The acting? Sure. Like, oh, I thought you were going to be an action guy. No, I, I fantasize about doing the action stuff. Like, yeah. I think that would be rad. But I don't, I don't think I would want to do it in the way that the muscle guys do it. I like the way that, like, because I, I feel like what's actually attainable. Or, you know what I mean? Like, that feels like such a fantasy. But I feel like the Bruce Willis way of doing it, where he looked like a normal guy, actually. Yeah. He just looks like a healthy guy. And if you go back to his, like, Die Hard movies, you don't go, he's not, like, super jacked. He just looks like a healthy man. Yeah. Like, yeah. that feels like the way, uh, the, the way to do an action movie that's attainable. Do they have one of those out right now? Is there a regular? Keanu's action? kind of like that. Right, but Keanu, Keanu's ripped. Well, I mean, he, he gets in shirtless. shape, but he, he doesn't. He's not like people aren't like, oh, here come the muscles with Keanu. You know, he just gets like he works out for the movies. But I don't feel like you go like here's the 
He's got a suit on for the fucking movie, you know? Yeah, but he looks fucking great. In that no, he suit. looks great. He's Keanu Reeves. But I'm saying. I'm always, isn't it crazy that I bet he's insecure about his beard? And I always wanted he's that kind beard. Of, that's kind of like. Well, you know. he's still fucking way better than I've ever looked. Well. I like that one. That Keanu is my favorite. That one there? Yeah. Let's see him with his shirt off. What fucking. That's a normal body. He looks body. like a normal body. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, the, the John Wick thing is, like, get in kind of good shape. But it's not, like like a jason momoa shape you know jason momoa yeah that guy so that okay that's the diet i'm doing i'm doing the jason momoa diet that's what i'm um, tequila type in jason momoa diet. so wait you would rather be the muscle guy i'm gonna be honest with you yes and i'll tell you why why i would rather have look at this guy i mean he is fucking what is he so i heard i heard that he fucking parties balls this guy does balls like the, he goes fucking hard but he's very clean what he eats so that he can party hard like that he goes i know what i gotta look like yeah so i get to, i get a carrot and a tomato and then that's it what does it say halston do you are you reading any of this he's it says uh we have some good news and some bad news the good news is that drinking guinness beer was indeed part of jason momoa's aquaman diet plan the bad news is that the occasional glass of beer was pretty much the only <coughs> vice he allowed himself while training for the role uh, smoking weed you can smoke weed jason true so what um, does he eat what does he eat does it say i knew someone but the, fa- the fantasy is to be jack here's, so, a, here's so, the truth uh, oh, okay you ready oh, hang on let me tell you why no it's not fantasy right. yeah so here's my theory you ready so like I don't ever feel like I'm worth anything. Yeah. So I always want to do the extra work to show you that I'm valuable. Right. So like when I was on Travel Channel, I didn't think I was a good host. So I was like, okay, I'll jump out of the plane also. And that way you can't deny that like no one else, I'll do the extra work no one wants to do. So in my brain, if you're going to give me a movie as, a, as an action hero, I'm not going to play it. What are, I'm not going to play it like Bert. I'll say, hey, I'll tell you what, I'll take a cycle of steroids, get a trainer, not eat anything, punish myself, so that at least you have a semi-interesting person to look at who also can act, uh, right, as right. opposed to going like the confidence Benicio Del Toro must have when he goes on a set and he just fucking murders it. And I, and I'd just rather be that level. I, I would, I think like career-wise, I go, that's the move to be the super talented actor. But I still think the fan, like the part of my brain goes, it would be amazing to have one of those physiques oh so part crazy. of his diet plan was that his trainer didn't force a new diet upon him as much as he did concentrate on the healthier foods that he already enjoyed so what would that be for you like what are healthy foods that you would just go to town on avocados i like those well, yeah okay it's like 25 <laughs> avocados a day you'd be eating eggs i'll name the healthy foods i like eggs okay. avocados chicken for me chicken i love chicken uh seafood salmon Okay, this is a good idea, Halston. Way to save my life. Uh, but also, don't forget, there's a there's a thing that they're not saying right here. What's that? It's just like the body that he started with. Oh, you know. So have you seen him young? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He, he was gore. He was. He's actually better looking older. Right, be like a natural, lean kind of muscular build, right? Yeah. Fruits, Guinness beers, peanut butter, honey sandwiches, mm-hmm. veggies, pass, steak, fish, supplements, probably some. Oh, he's also yeah you're right his genetics are fucking through the roof sure he's genetically like i remember i used to go to this gym uh dude this would have been in 20 well let me nail this 2010 um right down the street from where i lived in silver lake and kumail was was there too and he had we go to the same gym he had a very like he had a lean he had, like a that kind of build who kumail kumail had like a lean but he wasn't but muscular he was, but but like just like you could tell that he hadn't lifted a lot like he wasn't like a workout guy yeah. but he had a body that was going to thrive with oh, working out for real yeah because like he would you know you grab his arm and like he had like a bicep there even though he wasn't like a guy who would spend his life doing curls you know so That's he had like a natural all those books he read growing up picking up every book. picking up books yeah and Jason Momoa Young is a fucking is a, is a stud right so that if you give that guy a trainer you know and the right foods i wish someone had done that to me at 18 i know right you no know i wish because i'm fo- working so hard on working out now <laughs> i know jesus christ 
Who says no to that guy? I don't know. I'm sure he's done pretty well. Last night, Leanne and I were about to hook up. Mm-hmm. She's like, you know, I did a, like, naked. I'm getting ready to fool around about, you know, kissing, touching. Yeah. And she's like, and I said something about something. And she went, I did a, a podcast. I got a call from someone. Her daughter was raped. And I was like, what are you doing? We're naked. Yeah. And I went, okay. She was like, what? And I was like, no, nah, it's just a very weird thing to bring up. And then she was like, what was a date rape? And I went, hold on. I was like, I don't, that, dude, I don't think you understand how a dude's brain works. Yeah. Like that, now that's the word I hear is like, yeah. I, I need to be clean. I can't. And I was like, wait a fuck it up. She's like, well, I wasn't trying to ruin things. I go, why would you say that? Like, why would you? And you're about to get going. And we're about to get going. She goes, oh, don't let it fuck things up. And I was like, I was like, hey, babe. Like, I, like. Did it? No, I fucked her. But, uh. I fucking put it down. Oh, you're proud of yourself? Put, legit. Legit. Positions? Uh that was position. It was pretty quick, but uh how fast? <laughs> uh shockingly, like like a like a huh? Like a one of those. Missionary? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school. Mother yeah. Teresa style. Yeah. Yeah. We watched this documentary called The Seven Peaks. Have you seen it on Netflix? No. Is it called Seven Peaks, Halston? It's Seven Peaks. It's Fucking fascinating. So this guy, I don't know his name. 12 Peaks, Seven Summits, something. Netflix. Google it. He did. Oh, fuck. fuck. What's the matter? Fuck. What? 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 I tested positive. You're lying. No. I just got my result. I got to pee. Can I just go pee real quick? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, he's lying. Fucking cunt. Go to the bathroom. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> this episode of Two Bears, One Cave is brought to you by Babbel. Whether it's saving more and spending less, getting organized, or losing weight, there's a lot of worthwhile goals to set for yourself this year. At the top of my list is learning a new language with Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. I've been doing French on there and Je m'appelle Tom. Uh, not only is learning a new language a fun and engaging new hobby, you can use it while you check off traveling more from your list. The whole Babbel process is addictively fun, fast, and easy. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons for real-world use. Um, you can take 15-minute lessons with them that make it the perfect way to learn a new language on the go. Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel's lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com. Use the promo code BEARS. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Code BEARS. Babbel, language for life. That was, by the way, that was a good fucking, that was a good guess. Was that pretty good? That was really good. That was really I'd like to be known for my guy. acting, you know? That was really good. Yeah. Can I tell you, I, I did that sometimes where I, on set, where I'd act. Yeah. And they'd, and they'd go, huh? And I go, like, I do something like that. I do the scene. Yeah. And they'd be like, huh? And I was like, I'm acting. And they're like, oh, wait, you were doing it right then? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that was the thing. And they're like, oh, I thought you were being for real. And I was like, yeah, that's, the, yeah, that's isn't that what acting is? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, what was I just about to say? Oh, 12 peaks. peaks. 14 so peaks. this, 13 peaks. 14. 14 peaks. God, it keeps growing. <laughs> the, he summited, the, the previous record was this guy, this white dude, summited 14 peaks in in 16 years 36 years something like that this guy did it in seven months right seven months yeah but you know why what? and this is like what i'm in love with you know i'm not like woke at all i'm whatever regular is whatever the regular was where you're not a bad person to begin with yeah you know i'm that but i have been when i first saw uh that documentary on everest and they talked about sir edmund hillary is this the guy this guy who did it. Hit pause. So, you know, I want to, I my reveals coming up. So, when they talked about Sir Edmund Hillary, that I, I'm going to fuck this up. But they were like, so, so if I fucked it up, I don't give a fuck. They go, the, when they come down from the top, they're like, Sir Edmund Hillary's like, I was the first man to summit Everest. Yeah. And they're like, oh, cool. Who got there first? And his Sherpa, Tenzing Norgay, was like, knowing full well no one gets a paycheck unless the white guy did it right yeah <laughs> it's like it was him he dragged me up there <laughs> not me because i grew up at eight thousand feet it's the fucking white guy who grew yeah. up at sea level yeah. he helped me get up and i'm so happy that he did and so but 
Tenzing Sir Edmund Hillary needed Tenzing Norgay to get up there, right? He could not have done it without him. Because he, he sh- showed him the way? Because he's a Sherpa. He's fucking grew up at altitude. Yeah. So he's got n- no blood cells. So it's like he can, or like way too many. So he can do whatever the fuck he wants because he grew up at altitude. And Sir Edmund Hillary grew up at sea level. And so, um, so I'm not, no slack on Sir Edmund Hillary, but without Tenzing Norgay, no one summits Everest. Without all the Sherpas, by the way, they have names. Without all the Sherpas, no one gets up Everest. Ever. No one. Who are the Sherpas? What? Those are like the guides? Or There's, they're t- Tibet, Tibetan. N- N- Nepalese. They're Nepalese. Okay. And so. It's so fun watch, listening to you. So, so it's almost like if like, if like all these white people showed up in Hawaii and Hawaiian dudes swam out on surfboards and pushed them into waves yeah and then white people were like we discovered surfing yeah yeah yeah. and then the hawaiians surfed back in a member, uneven- here's a strip a member of a himalayan people living on the border of nepal and tibet renowned for their skill in mountaineering yes so so what has happened is all these white people have all these victories on 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 everest and and it, it is akin do you want to do it no i have no interest i actually thought that through i got offered one time you did to do yeah to do everest because now and i don't mean it takes nothing there's a fucking traffic jam going up to everest there's a line of people it's almost like a tour like it's not a big deal people do die but there's like they go ah, oh, the weather's good for three days everyone start walking and put, put in traffic jam everest Tra- type in traffic jam everest look at how many people do everest in a fucking day this is click that click that no dude go to the one on the far left far left top look at all these people so this is how many people do everest it's fucking all the time Eh, no no there's only like a window of a month where they can do it so everyone that wants to do everest does it there and and this guy did it this day he took the picture the guy who's in this documentary took this picture but it's great to see and what he was saying is he's like we are the fucking sherpas we are the guys that get you up there we should be oh and then he was like, fuck it. You know what? I'll it white guys, it took you 16 years to do all set all 12, 14 peaks. I'll do it in seven months. He goes, fuck you. I'll do Everest and the two sister mountains, La Tassasa and La Tanza. I'll do those two in 48 hours. He did this day, he did this climb, and then did two Is other he local. Eight, Is uh, like to that. I think he's from Macau. I'm not certain. Where? I don't know. I wasn't listening really. I to be honest with you. I kind of this is when we had sex during this middle of this documentary. Oh, really? Yeah. So I kind of was in and out. All I know is that he was like, and I got to the summit, and that's when I came. And so, um, but he's really fucking badass. Well, this guy is, is way better at googling than the yeah, right? Yeah. Oh. His name's Nims Perja, and he's uh, Nepalese. He's Nepalese, and they put him at altitude, and they put him on it. They put him on an oxygen thing, Tom, with altitude. Put him on a spin bike checked his heart rate, checked everything. They go, the average white mountaineer can do it for 90 seconds. He did it for fucking three minutes. Just fucking did it. And his heart, and he got off and he was like, do you want me to do more? He's a fuck. Because, and it's it's the same thing. It's like the connection that that him and all, the, all, all these guys like him, his whole team's all. And he's like, by the way, they're not my Sherpas. They're my friends. They're my brothers. Yeah. And he names them. He doesn't, never calls them his Sherpas. And they help him get up there. Do most people call, just refer to them as Sherpas? Sherpas, yeah. Get my Sherpa fucking so colonial it's ridiculous mm. and it's just, it is akin to me and you going to hawaii and getting fucking two pro hawaiian surfers that were like two hawaiian surfers and go hey man take us out there and, te- and put us in the waves and then they go all right and then get kick 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 put swim 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 stand up now and then we do it we're like oh and then the news crews are like burnt and tom you were surfing we're like we love this this is what defines us and then our and we're like we're like hey but Grab our surfboards, put them over by our jeeps. You would do that, probably. <laughs> I actually have done that. I, I have yeah. done that. I actually have done that. You, I actually have done that. You exact, were describing yourself. I actually yourself. have done that exact same thing. Is I've had a local push me into a wave yeah. and then talked into a camera. And you were like, it. "Oh, and that was amazing!" Everything. You've done everything that you could do in the world. Yeah, with the locals. With the locals. Yeah. Wow. No wonder this hit so hard with me. Yeah, yeah you're, this really resonates. <laughs> this really resonates. God oh damn God. it. Oh, yeah, so I watched Christ, this. Bro. This is a really cool. It was a really cool documentary. So you had sex while it was on, though? Yeah. Did you pause it? No, nope, let it play. His mom passed away right around the time that we were having sex. 
really, in the movie in the movie yeah oh. i was going down on her and talking about losing his mom and i was oh. like oh, oh, fuck. Boy. i was like i hope she's not listening <laughs> and then you put it down though and then and then when it was my turn <laughs> i think i think can, you, can i tell you i lost an inch on my neck in five days in five days an inch it's a lot to lose in five days i feel like that can't be healthy. Show him the before like, and after pic. See if he. Oh yeah, the one you showed me yesterday. You took before and after for these these last just, few days. Just my just my face, because I thought it would be. Jesus Christ, you have been going really hard. Um, you know I have, and I don't. I don't know. <laughs> that last time you showed up to Austin, I was like, "Holy shit!" Here, look at this. Wow. It's my Leanne goes, your eyes start closing. She's like, your eyes get like smaller and like squintier <laughs> when you gain weight. And I was like, really? It's true. I was like, don't I look younger though? And she goes, no, not no. younger. An inch from my neck. Yeah. When, uh, well, yeah, that, that time when you got, you got real big and like, I don't know, it was a couple of years ago. And, uh, you, it was, it's always like, I think when you're touring. Yeah. And, uh, I saw, Diaz and he's like I saw Brooke the other day I thought it was a fat Chinese guy at this store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the key is so so what do you do on the road do you like you don't even, do you fast and stuff or like no I don't fast just eat egg whites no I mean all right first of all whenever we get to a city in the hotel I used to do this thing like on the last tour which I you know I, I don't even know if you call it maintaining I wasn't in shape at all not like I'm in shape now but I'm saying it was worse and um where i get to the hotel we'd hang out i'd be like when's the show let's say the show's the first show's at seven yeah i'd be like let's go to the gym at five that's what i like doing and then i would work out like 45 minutes and then take a nap i would take a shower and then go to the venue because the show's gonna be in like less than an hour now what i do is we get to a city let's say we get to the city at noon Mm -hmm. i drop bags change and we go right to the gym i was wondering if you did that this morning no, this morning was, I was, I mean, I, I don't feel good. It was, it was dragging. Dude. I, um, I, so, so tomorrow, so we fly tonight. <coughs> so I, I said to myself, um, I, we have a producer that produces all the stuff we do because we shoot a lot of the stuff and post yeah. it. And so, um, are you going to shoot the workout? I don't know. I got to ask Joe. What do you think Joe's cool with it? I don't think Joe, I, I texted him privately and was like, Hey man, I would like to work out. Do you, can you get me in it on it? And he was like, he was like, get you in. Why don't I work out with you? We'll have the guy, the head trainer, do a workout for us. And because you know, that's Joe's like, oh, that's what he loves. I love and I was man. like, and f- at first I was like, I don't like, like I was nervous. I was like, I don't know if my arm's gonna be ready, and I don't know what to sound like a bitch and be like, you know, I had a surgery, and so I told my trainer, and she was like, well, let's just start start testing out your arm, like get strength. I wonder so if they're gonna go fucking ham on you tomorrow. I, ho- I hope they do everything. I want them to do like blood work i want them to do the on it lab on me i mean like workout wise yeah 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 oh i hope so I, but i go i don't mind going hard like i don't mind going hard no it's good to it's good to yeah like i like i enjoy working out and so but i don't know if i can work out at joe's pace i mean if he's going his hardest it's probably gonna be my big thing is i'm gonna go i told them i asked the on it guys i was like hey i want i want to i want to get a bunch of stuff buy a bunch of stuff for the bus kettlebells maces whatever the fuck you got in your store I'll, supplements everything i want to put it on the bus because i'm going to make all of texas healthy and so we're going to we're going to have workouts planned we're going to do outdoor workouts and i'm just going to try to like curb my behavior with my working out and tequila yeah what do you drink can you drink tequila is a thing you're supposed to drink right I don't know if you're supposed to. I like <laughs> I like a Nejo. I like that te- those tequilas. Yeah. And I, um, I like some whiskeys. I mean, I don't. I don't. That's the thing, man. Like, you you really definitely have something in you. I don't know genetic or that you just built up to this. Where, you know, I'll have a couple drinks one night and then wake up the next day just feeling so much shittier that I don't want to drink. You know, I'm like I don't, I don't have that. No, I know. Georgia's got that too. Not the partying I'm part, like, oh. but the the Georgia is like a freak athlete. Like this really, mo- yeah. This morning we got up at six. Me, her, and Isla. We went for a hike last night, 
And uh, <laughs> I fucking told him, I was like, uh, I was like, just giving you a heads up. Cause you know, it's like, I like my daughters when they're scared. Like I feel like yeah, yeah. they connect with me more. So I was like, just giving you a heads up. This is when Bobcats are out. And they're like, what? And I was like, mountain lions, Bobcats, coyotes. So like, if you guys hear anything, let me know. I'll take care of it. And they're like, wait, hold on. What? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause it was getting, it was getting dark, legit dark. And then they're like, what do you mean take care of it? And I go jump in front of it. I die first. You guys run home. You guys run down, get the car, call 911, tell mom. I'll, I'd, I'd gladly die for you guys. And they're like, you're messing with us, dad. And so then I said, as they said, uh, when do you leave? Can we say goodbye to you? And I was like, oh, I have a workout at seven. They go to school at seven and she, in, or 730. And Georgia goes, well, why don't you do your workout at six? We'll work out with you. And I was like, for real? They were up at 530. Really? Fucking ready to work out. Came in back here. Lacey comes in. And this is the thing with Georgia, like where I go, like the thing where I guess you turn it off. So we're doing, uh, we're doing deadlifts this morning mm -hmm. and we're doing 10, 7, 5, 10, 10, 10, 7, 5, 5, 3, 3, 1, 1, right? Mm -hmm. So my, my max out deadlift, and by the way, it's not, it's not my max out. It's like whatever, 205 or whatever. Because it's, it's my elbow. We're just still keeping it light. Sure. We forget to take the weights off for Georgia. And Georgia, a fucking child, does my fucking, my, the one I'm doing one. Really? She does it. And then she goes, wait, did I just do dads? And I was like, that's like mind over matter shit where you go, you think you're doing your thing and did it. I was like, fuck. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get hung over like that. I I, that's about, really weird. The thing, but you know what? The, my kryptonite is smoke anything smoking anything i feel it immediately on a treadmill. cigars cigars i feel immediately on a treadmill weed i feel immediately on it the next day on a treadmill i'm like how do you feel the cigars though uh because the smoke gets around me oh it's like it, it i like i catch it asthma wise do you like the setup of these chairs does it make you feel too relaxed to talk no this, this is okay no, this is okay cool. this is um, great. but yeah uh the the uh a cigar Fucks with me. I'm gonna have a cigar this afternoon. I hadn't smoked in like a cigarette in like twelve plus years, and then I smoked one uh like a month ago. No way. Yeah. Why? Was, I don't know. I just for that fuck it. Are you serious? Yeah. I was at one of those uh Chappelle Rogan shows. And because really? uh, they all smoke cigarettes after sets. Does was, Rogan smoke? He had a cigarette, yeah. Did you like it? I cause I, I used to smoke more a lot. Well, I wasn't like a heavy smoker. But it was a nice buzz to get again. Dude, yeah. can I tell you what I want to... But here's the problem. If I do it once, I'm back in 100%. I've been fine. Here's the thing. It wasn't that hard for me to quit. Uh, it was 12 years ago. It wasn't that hard for me. So I don't think I was actually, like, whatever it is, physically addicted to it, even though I was smoking probably 5 to 10 a day or something. I don't know what it was. Um, when I quit, it wasn't that hard. I had one. I might have had two. I think I had one one day. Then I haven't had any since. I haven't had a craving for. No. But it was it was enjoyable. But and Jeff Tate smokes. Used to doesn't smoke. Really? Yeah. He, no, he quit a while. I want to. I want to. I want to do chewing tobacco again. Oh, dip. I miss that so much. Feel that burn in the gums. Mm. You know what I still haven't done that I hear you saying it all the time. Cause like what I mean is like the replay what? of you saying it to me. And I and I think about it pretty regularly because i still haven't done it is had a cigar in the morning for the oh, coffee that's <laughs> I've my never favorite done it. I've i never might do that it. this week you told me that and the way you described it i was like man i got and then sometimes i'll have a cigar in the evening i'll be like i gotta try this sometime with a coffee can i tell you what my favorite one i've ever had is that way trumps a cigar and coffee is a cigar and scotch in bed in the morning in the morning in bed churchill style dude to this day, I have never, I don't, I don't, I don't like scotch. And I, I, this, this cigar in this bed with this fucking scotch yeah. was the best cigar I've ever had and the best whiskey I've ever had. Did you get good whiskey? Uh, yeah. Well, it was Johnny Walker Blue, oh, which yeah. is pretty good. Yeah. Um, and did I, this guy and do this every day. He did it every single morning. And I'm telling you, you know, it, it's interesting. I, I wonder if he had a buzz like all day, but that's the way you used to, you used to operate. Yeah. You'd go. Well, all those guys that ran the world were having midday cocktails and morning cocktails at meetings. Yeah. See, I don't do it 
because I hear guys that talk about quitting drinking when they do that stuff and they have withdrawals and I've never had withdrawals. Here we go. Winston Churchill day. First whiskey, 9 a.m. First cigar and another whiskey, 11 a.m. Whoa. Optional walk around the neighborhood. I love that setup. I might have to do this this weekend. 1 p.m. Lunch and champagne. 3 p.m. Another whiskey. 4 p.m. Shot of cognac. 5 p.m. Another whiskey. Optional nap. 6 p.m. Dinner and more champagne. Post dinner. Second cigar and drink whatever you like. Feel free to drink in between or switch out your desired drink. It really is. Come this up is with a personal totally goal. made for you. Finish the bottle. Remember the night. Don't puke. Come up with a rousing speech. It's January. That's when they do it. January 21st, 2021 at three. Who, who wrote that? Uh, oh, I did. That's your own thing that you wrote. Did I write that? Yeah, oh, I did Twitter. write that. Oh, fuck. I don't remember write that. That, I didn't write that. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, I didn't write that. Pull up the tweet. Oh, you, you retweeted it. I retweeted it. it. Yeah. Uh, can you type in 75 hard? 75 hard? Yeah. What's this? It's the opposite of Winston Churchill Day. What's that? This is like a challenge thing. Oh, I'm doing this. Um, will, you t- will you find what is, you know? What is 75 hard program? Yeah. And should you try it? This is a... Uh, so you do this 75 days in a row. What? Yeah. Oh, is this what uh, a white boy summer did? I don't know. So what you do is you, you follow a diet. There's no, there's no cheat plans. There's no cheat meals. None for 75 days. You work out okay, twice that's, a day. That's, twi- that's two and a half months, right? Yeah. You work out twice a day. One of them has to be outdoors. So basically you work out inside, let's say indoors. And if you went for like a jog or a hike or a walk for 45 minutes, right? Each, each has to be at least 45 minutes. Drink a, ga- a gallon a day, water a, a day. Take a five-minute cold shower or, or, or cold plunge. I can do that. I can do this. And you take progress pictures every day. Um, and, oh, you pre- perform an, another unrelated task or r- random act of kindness. Okay. And then does the reading. Okay. I think the, that got swapped out also. What's interchangeable there is read 10 pages. Of a 75 book. hard. Yeah. So wait, can I see some? So let me see someone who does a before and after picture of seventy five hard. This guy's on his day seventy five. Uh, yeah, can you do before and after? Um, wait, where did you hear about this, Sean? He's done it multiple times. I mean, that's a quite an amount of time to be committed. To, I mean, that's pretty dramatic. Yeah, seventy five days. Yeah. Wow, look at her. Look at him. He just looks like a regular dude. Not bad, but then he looks like what is he puts yeah. on a beanie. Wow, she looks great. Yeah. 75 hard, no cheat meals. None. He looks ridiculous. How about that guy in the right there, right above that one? Because that guy was kind of a big dude. Yeah. <laughs> if you did that, you would look. Oh, before and after that? 75 hard? So, but yeah, but I don't like that'd be two and a half months of what two and a half months could you do 75 hard? Which ones? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I could probably, like if I was committed to it, I could do it, you know? Like, yeah, but no, but like it would have to be certain months. It would have to be spring months. Cause if you're going outside, you don't want to do it in the summer or the winter or in the winter, but I guess you could make it work. In either occasion. Best yeah. time of the year for 75 hard. Type that in. I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's spring, right? Um, all right. How do we make money off of Two Bears Racing? Tell me what your idea is again. I want to sponsor. I want Two Bears Racing. Because here's the thing. I know. I, I hang my hat on. Passion begets passion, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. Sadly, my passion is stand-up comedy and drinking and partying. Okay. And having a good time and laughing in this podcast. Like, those are my passions. Yeah. I don't have any interests. Like, I don't have, like, a, maybe I do. Maybe I'll find some that I go, oh, that's an interest of mine. But, like, I like this shit. And so, but you have a passion about cars. I like, yeah. yeah. I like, I was talking to someone the other day, and they were like, all right, skip out on this. We're not doing 75 fucking hard. And so, or unless you can find good months. Um, 
So then I thought, okay, how do we lean into your passion? Because leaning into your passion will also uh, broaden this podcast. It will, right, it will, right. it'll blossom this podcast. It's good for the podcast. If we find, if we lean into your passion and your passion is cars. So how do we get you into racing? And then I thought short track racing, those, those, those ones where it's like an affordable car on a dirt track yep. where you can really get the feel of, do I like racing? Yeah. So I go, okay, we should do a live podcast, right? We mm -hmm. know that the live show that if we do, that can help fund our racing team. But more importantly, we invest in a racing team. One car, one race, do it in Texas. We can find a place and track in Texas. We um, enter you in the race. That's our that's our uh, our content that we're shooting. Is you training for it, you doing the race, me being your pit crew guy. I'm a great pit crew guy. I believe it. Like, cause, because if you type in uh, movie pit crews, movie pit, pit boss, is that, is that what they're called? No, that's like a casino. Movie, like a, a movie pit, I'm that guy. I'm the guy with the cigar that's like, God damn it, you're scared of the fucking wall. Yeah, yeah. You can't be scared of the fucking wall. You know what? Tape his left foot to his ankle. Yeah. He won't use that brake no more. Like, I'm that guy, right? Sure, sure. So. Here we go. You're running the pit crew? I'm running the pit crew. There you are. That's not, it's not me. <laughs> so type in Days of Thunder. And so, and, and what we do with this thing yeah. is we just try to expand it and get it bigger until we're in Formula One. This is a really good idea. I think so. I'm I not. I love. I love when you think like. Let this. me tell you something. Can I tell you? Sometimes I can tell when it's a good idea when I go. Other people should be thinking of this. Yeah. Right. I can tell you some people that are very popular podcasts that probably do stuff like this, mm -hmm. but there's more that should. Like how much? How much fun do you think Rogan would have had ra racing in a race? He loves cars. He loves going fast. He loves that track shit. Yeah. He should be. He should have done this. Like, and and we can do this. So we. There find, you are. That's me. God damn it. You're going to blow the fucking gasket again. And that's, I'll, I'll be that guy. Right. Yeah. And we'll, 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 sh and we shoot all the content around that. That'll be the reveal for our live show. We do the live show that'll fund our race. And then that is the beginning of two bears racing. And what we do then, here yeah. we go. So we get the car, we get that. And then, and then, and then we start broadening out what, what, how to get really successful is we find good racers. And like, also we bring them in, we bring a team and we got three cars, yeah. three racers. And we start fucking hitting these tracks until we go, fuck it. We got a shot at NASCAR. How do we, how do we find a, a race that we can enter? You know, it's so easy. We did it all the time on Travel Channel. You did? Yeah. It, there's races all over the country every weekend. That's all people do. That's there. See, here's the thing is there's, uh, we used, I've, I've raced in races, oddly enough, that, that you can do. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I've done it on chariots. I've done it on ostriches. I've done it in cars. I've done it in fucking blowers. There's like, Every these race there's racetracks all around the country that have and there's big money in racing and we get our podcast sponsors to sponsor our race car so there's stickers uh manscaped there's stickers fit fine maybe not be a, a great well, yeah yeah alcohol sure. yeah ship station so, yeah ship station because <laughs> it's a it's a it's a group of fans yeah. that have that that has not laid eyes on these sponsors yet right right right, right? so we're broadening our sponsorship and but the thing is. When you win that first, and you will win that first race. I hope that'd be uh, nice. Don't worry. I'm your pit boss. I'm going to go around and sabotage the other cars. Oh, okay. Yeah, don't worry. I've got this all thought out. Okay. It's going to be like a movie. That's the fun of this, is I'm treating this like a movie. You're treating it like a job. You need to treat it like a job, yeah. but you, I'll treat it like a movie. There you and, are. Dude, look at this. Give me the fucking, God damn it, you're, Robin's racing. And I just say shit like, oh, shit, he's all, oh, Tom, Tom's on, the, on a runner, whatever the fuck. And so, and, and, and I think we do it. I will find, so give me a time frame. Give me a time frame of when we can both commit to doing a race and a live show. I really feel like literally knowing what we have coming up soon, that it's summer. Okay. Summer. This summer. Let's right, because we're both on a crazy, we're both on crazy tours. Crazy tours up until so May. Like May, yeah. Anyway. So we find a race in June. Okay. In that time, we will we we will uh, organize our team. Okay, we'll get what we need. We'll, we'll find what we'll do is we'll find a guy in Texas who's like, I got a car. I'll sell you. Yeah. Fuck it. You don't need to buy it. You can rent it from me for the weekend. Like yeah. we get, we'll find a car. We'll find a track. We'll get you practicing in that time on your off time in Austin. 
You'll be doing track laps, track laps. Do you bring do you bring wet wipes on the road? I have tuck steak alongs. You do? Yeah. Fucking Why? Idiot. Because I just realized what a fucking idiot I've been because I've been on the road and Sean and Jeff Tate both bring baby wipes. And so every time I'm like, I'm going to go take a shit, they'll be like, do you want some baby wipes? And I'm like, oh, yeah. And then they're like, how do you not bring these? And I'm like, I don't know. And then I'll use them. I'm like, these are great. And then I realized I have fucking baby wipes because I have, you have a, fucking, a baby. Yeah, I have a three-year-old who like just will shit. And yeah. So anyway, I did it. I went to a to buy like water at the airport. This is like a month ago. I was like, you have baby wipes? And they're like, yeah, a packet of like 16. It's like $10 or something. Yeah. Um, I'm like, okay. And I shit at the airport and I was like, oh, this is such a better feeling having this. And I went today. So I went on the early flight. And I was like, I, I was drinking my coffee. And I was like, oh, it's coming. So I went to that store at the airport and um, I went to the section. It was gone. And I was like, did you sell baby wipes? And the lady goes, well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. And I go, what? She's like, wait, I just put them out this morning. I guess everybody's buying baby wipes. And I was like, okay. So then I was like, I was like, oh, I'm not going to have baby wipes. It's going to be terrible. And I was like, no, you know what I was going to do? I was like, I'll just buy a bottle of water at least just to like douse. And then do you use your finger? <laughs> no, but I didn't realize that when I was done, I had bought Propel, the sports drink. <laughs> And I drank some of that. I washed my ass. With it. <laughs> and I wiped my wife. With Propel, yeah. A <laughs> real sporty wash. Man. I didn't. <laughs> Was it a little sticky? I think so. It was like slightly sticky. It, it felt a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but wipes are a fucking game changer. Yeah. I want to get my ass waxed again. Again, I did it once. For real? I've done it, on, it before. I know. I did yeah. it on. I did it on Bob and Tom. Oh, for and, real? Yeah, years ago. And then I remember I was like, "Man, this makes wiping a dream." Oh yeah. Oh oh yeah. I get toilet paper stuck in there all the time. And then I go, "My ass is such a fucking wreck," you know? Yeah. Oh, I I my I haven't shit in four days. I'm only really? I'm only taking in like 700 calories and I'm burning 3,400 a day. I, I still don't understand how you're not hungry. I am, but I'm not like famished. I'm getting enough enough food to keep me moving forward. Yeah. So I'm not, and maybe it's this, this. Maybe the cleanse is like set up where they go. You need this much sugar to not like. Maybe they figured it out. But I mean, what's crazy is my my sister is doing the identical same cleanse. So like she How's has she the doing? same calories as I do. Everyone's losing like eight pounds. Jesus. Yeah, but I think I lose more because I'm heavier. Yeah. And a lot of it is inflammation. It's like I, when I say like I lost an inch on my neck. Your water. Weight. I bet a lot of it's just retaining water. And are you drinking a ton of water on this thing too? I am. Let's call uh, the dot. Will you call the doc and see if, how he's doing with his? Yeah. <clears throat> and when's he going to get on the plan if he's not? Because I feel like. He's been saying he's going to do this for a minute, right? Yeah. What, yeah, what the fuck? Nothing. How is he not available? I don't know. Big two bears question. FaceTime me ASAP. Say we're thinking of canceling the show or something. What do you think he's doing? I don't know. By the way, I just want you to know the soups do not look like this. They don't? That's what they say they're supposed to, but they I did not get that. But you lost weight. That's all that fucking matters. And then what do you think my first meal should be? Except we still have leftovers from Chef Antonia. I was just like eggplant parmesan. <laughs> just ate it all back in one day. Well, you're gonna have barbecue tonight. Do you think you could I I well we get in at like midnight? Oh, never mind. Um what do you have? Burgers? No, I was going to, what I was going to do is what I was going to do. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pace myself. Yeah. You see, you're excited. I, I'm, I, can I'm, I can tell you're excited. I was going to um, eat lean proteins and greens today. Okay. Here at like four, three thirty, four o'clock. Fill up on them. And, and feel good. Cause then that's all I need. And then go to the airport, 
couple tequilas and then try to pass out on the I've been up since fucking 5:30. I'm so, so try hungry. to so try to pass out on the plane and then um and then get to the if I can get into that bus and go to sleep without eating, it's a big victory for me. Wake up skinny. And then work out with Joe at 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. And then that'll be good. We got breakfast coming. We got this uh, great place in Austin. It's called Hold on. I'll give a sh- All right, maybe I shouldn't shout out that's it. People are like, you shouldn't shout out places. Why? Because then they go, then people will show up and then you won't be able to get the stuff you want. That's... And I go, that sounds like fucking selfish. No, what is it? What's um, the place? It's called. Were they expecting you? Are they? Uh, no. Oh. You what just found a place. It's called. I don't know what it's called. You got... Who selected it? Uh, my trainer. Oh, okay. Static. Squarespace. By the way, where did I go? I went to Honest Mary's yesterday. Shout out to Matt. Um, he's a big fan of the podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I always feel like you should shout out the places that you like. Yeah. Why not? And that way, give them more business. Like, there's this place, AJ Tacos, on Riverside and Laurel Canyon, that I has the best best breakfast tacos I've ever had in my life. They have handmade tortillas. They have the best chicken fingers. They have the best barbecue. The chicken fingers are outstanding because here? They, it, here on Laurel Canyon and Riverside. And I'm telling you right now, it's one of the best breakfast b- tacos I've ever had in my fucking life, without a doubt. And I shout them out all the time because, listen, it, they need the, the things about making money. That's like going, hey, man, I saw a great comic, but I don't want to ruin him by him getting famous. Yeah, no, it's terrible. Like, no, fucking pimp him out. Tell him. Tell who he is. Um. But like, I, so AJ's Tex Max Barbecue on one two one two three Riverside Drive in Valley Village. Nadav's calling. Oh, all right, here we go. What's up, accountability buddy? How's it going, man? Good. I'm gonna spin you around so the camera can see you. Oh, okay. Okay. How are we doing on weight loss? You know, it's interesting you say that. It's uh, I, I threw my back out a while ago, Uh-oh. and so whenever something bad happens, I always just max out. But uh, I have maintained my weight loss. So oh, that's great. How much did you lose? Uh, I think I lost like ten pounds. I think at my heaviest, I was like two seventy five, and I've been maintaining at two sixty five for a minute. Nice. Okay. Nice. Yeah. How are you doing, accountability buddy? Uh, I'm at two fifty two point three. Or two? Did I just hang up on him? No. Uh, and I'm at two fifty two point three, and I uh, he's been on a fast on a I'm, cleanse. I'm on a fast. Didn't I see like? Uh, uh, did you have trouble with the holidays? Did you? Uh, did you gain weight during that? Yeah, I was two sixty three point seven. Was my heaviest. How long ago? Uh, Last Thursday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday. He's lost. Wow. He's lost ten pounds or twelve point five pounds in in a, like four, four days. days. <laughs> that's that's. That's a good pace, buddy. Yeah, right. And and a lot of people say that never comes back. Yeah. 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 Uh, so are we back on being accountability buddies? Yeah, we're back on being accountability buddies. All right. So we're now going to be sending pictures to each other of what we're eating. Yeah. Why don't we? Let's go to eat in Austin. I'm I'm going to be in Austin tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm coming to your show. Uh, oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Nice. Let's. Uh, why don't you come backstage and have dinner with us, and I'll I'll make sure that we eat healthy. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, I say that, and I'm like, I'm probably fucking gonna be like, it's barbecue. Don't call Nadav. <laughs> <laughs> you both have to text me tomorrow, then. All right. I'm gonna let's get back into our account. I'm gonna put us in our accountability buddies uh, te- text thread, and we'll just start sending pictures of what we what we're eating. Okay. All right. Let's do it. All right. We're on this journey together, Nadav. I'm only as strong as you are. Together in solidarity, we will overcome. That sounds like something you learned it temple <laughs> no, no no i learned it at church uh th- that's what we do it's uh, good tidings unto you and all that stuff yeah, it's good hey man <laughs> nice it's good to hear it nice all right i'll see you tomorrow i'll be in uh, austin tomorrow all right bless you and bless jesus i'll talk to you soon okay right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> i never thought i'd end up liking him this much really yeah like when you meet him he doesn't look uh, like you don't meet nadav and go like oh this guy's gonna be my best friend yeah yeah because he's pretty aggressive <laughs> You think so? Oh, when I first met him, yeah, he's just very direct. He's very direct. Like you're trying to buy uh, diamonds from him or something. Like he's just, his dad's a broker, a jewelry broker, right? 
His dad was a, uh, uh, was a, uh, a jewelry designer, actually. You know, his dad and the director of my movie were his, their dads were best friends. Yeah, I remember you told me, you know, his, his dad, Nadav's, actually designed like one of the most famous cuts of the princess cut. It's his design. Mike Jones. It's his design. Mike Jones. Do you remember Mike Jones? Who? Mike Jones. Who? Princess cut. Princess cut. Yeah. This is his father's design. Um, yeah, when I first met Nadav, he was just very aggressive. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the longest time. I don't remember this. I remember that you guys had your like a real a couple of really combative. Well, he just he just when I first met him, it was very much like like I, I let me rephrase that. Oh, god damn it. We're fucking coming up to the end. But I want to talk about um Jonah Hill also. What? I just like what he, what he's doing. I like oh. where he's at right now. Like I like him. Like yeah. he fe- seems very raw and like everything he's doing is like very raw and i like that like i love he seems really confident right now right no genuinely he's very no i think he's we'll say this he's very insecure no i know but i but i think what what you're witnessing is a guy who's basically for a a, a huge part of his life grown up in the public eye yeah he's had like famous when he was like 20 or something right yeah maybe even younger um but he's had like this uh you know just like you, you can just see that 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 to me screams like somebody who's become like grown into themselves yeah and, and feels like like that's what i'm saying it's like genuine confidence i like, love i, like I, I love his beard and his hair yeah. i love that he's surfing like i love that like i he for whatever reason he comes up in my news thread all the time on on instagram yeah of like him saying stuff about himself of like hey don't comment if you think i'm skinny or i'm fat i don't want to hear either side of it i just want to be me like I just like everything about him just reeks of like of like of like owning who he is. Yeah. I love Agreed. it, dude. Agreed. I'm like uh I'm such a, it's so interesting too cuz he's And he, scroll- at least I mean look, it's a social media feed, but he seems like a pretty happy guy. Yeah, scroll back to the scroll back to the top. Let's go back to the top. I want to see Yeah, can you look click at in on those? Yeah, click yeah. On one of those? Click on it. Yeah, it seems like a happy, a happy dude. Yeah, he's like, he picked up surfing and he's like doing surfing. And I just, I just, I don't know, man. I, I get him in my newsfeed constantly. Really? All the time. For whatever reason, I'm thinking it's because I came out as fat. And, and I think that, I think that because I put that out there yeah. and all of a sudden I'm getting like a lot of like positive things. Oh. But it like, he looks very happy. Yeah, exactly. And, um, Yeah. Like it's so interesting that like he does things like like I still one of the things I saw was he went on Jimmy Kimmel and Jimmy Kimmel was like you smell good and Jonah Hill's like thanks and he was like no I didn't expect you to smell good and Jonah Hill's like seems like a little bit of an attack like like but he's just being so real yeah. that you're like that that you end up falling in love with the guy because you're like oh he's not like if that was me I'd be like I know right yeah yeah come on man see I mean like. I'm 37, finally love and accept myself. So he is like a, he it did, he did go by through that, dude. For all of what I just said about how much I love him, yeah, he is fucking a scene stealer. Oh, he's in great. Fucking actor. every movie he does, he's great. He's like, a real, he's a real talent, man. When he buys the weed in uh in the movie where they sell drugs, War Dogs or whatever. Mm-hmm. When he goes and buys weed, and the guy steals his money, and then he comes back with the machine gun, he's like, ha, ha. like every movie he's in, he's a scene stealer. Yeah. I did a movie with someone, or no, I didn't do a movie. I'm sorry, maybe I did. I did something with someone who said they did a scene with Jonah Hill, yeah, and they said he was like confusingly amazing. Like they were like, you'd watch him, and you you had a hard time staying in your character yeah. because he would just improv like. 10 different things and they were all brilliant i believe it i mean I bet, I, I I always, bet that, i've enjoyed everything he's been in yeah i don't think i've ever i don't think there's ever been a part of me that didn't like okay let's go this ready yeah five celebrities where everything they've done you've loved not once have they veered off everything they touched you go god man i fucking like it all okay that's pretty fun actually um well, you know, you were mentioning the like the 
the great actors before. Like yeah. you want to be the muscle guy. Like all those guys, like John C. Riley, whatever he does, I've I've honestly always loved him doing whatever he's doing in it. Denzel Washington is another one where I've loved everything. Like I don't have to necessarily love the story, but watching him is a treat. Like Beastie Boys. Beastie everything Boys. that they've ever done, I've yeah. liked. Yeah, that's true. Like every even when I didn't like it when I bought it. I liked it eight months later yeah, yeah. when I was at a party and someone played it. I go, who is this? And they're like, Beastie Boys. I go, oh, shut the fuck up. You're like, I have this. Um, I've got this in my car. Yeah. Honestly, uh, I always loved watch. I could watch Jack Nicholson take a dump. Yeah. I feel like it's entertainment. Um, who else? Uh, all right. Name a female actress. Kate Blanchett. I, lo- I love oh, watching wait, her. Wait, pull up a picture of Kate Blanchett. I think I, think I know. Is she the one that's in... She's the one that's in. She's in Doctor St- in Strange Glove, Strange Doctor Strange. She's great. In anything she does, she's amazing looking. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm getting a rash on my nose. Do you it see this? Like... Do you see that? Yeah, that's like a full hive, dude. What the fuck did that I? That just that just popped up too. Oh, I was playing in between my toes with stuff, and I bet there was. Dude, that's significant. For real? Yes. Yes. Here. Holy shit. Hold on. Wait, for real? For real. What do you think it is? That's a significant pattern. Let me see it. Holy fuck. Yeah. Are you? Oh, shit. The white on it? Oh, you're allergic to something. Yeah. What did I? T- oh, it must be whatever was in my toe, my toe that I was picking out. That's fucking gross. All right. I got to. We should end this podcast. I'm going to wash my hands and wash my face. <laughs> <laughs> fuck can you see it yeah yeah what the fuck it's you know my eyes starting to itch now wait how did you know it was on there i was just I thought you put something it. on your face for it, but oh you started because you could feel it's raised I, I, all of a sudden i felt like i have a lump on the, my nose you do dude it's gotta it's be growing like, is it? it is growing no it's not it you're, is now growing you're just fucking with no i'm not no, no, no. i it can see growing. it on the screen here no it's, gro- it's, it's getting growing. bigger yes hold on let me see it's- holy shit yeah <laughs> that's legit big what the fuck happened to me Oh, do you think? Do you think it's my cleanse? That I have no immunities to anything left? Are you fu- are you fucking with me? Did I'm not fucking just, with you. I don't know what, what happened. Maybe go take some Benadryl or something. I don't. I can't. I don't know if I can take Benadryl. I'm on a cleanse. We're drinking coffees. All right. All right. All right. This podcast is over. I'm gonna go wash my hands and wash my face. <laughs> Thanks. I love you. I love you. Bert and Tom. Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears, One Cave.